So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, Jamal Charlo has called out Canelo Alvarez for a September showdown. Um, I don't know what you guys make of it. I don't know what you guys make of this um, call out. He said he'd be willing to fight Canelo Alvarez in September. Uh, Jamal Charlo is a guy, he, he's come out right lately and say Canelo is the best fighter in the world. Uh, and it's listen, usually um, fighters don't do that. Fighters don't do, especially someone that's direct competition, direct rival to themselves. They don't come out and say that, you know, he's the best fighter in the world. You know, they normally disrespect him and put him down and all sorts, all, all, all sorts of that nonsense. But actually, Jamal Charlo actually uh, respects Canelo. He rates him highly. Uh, he believes he's the best fighter in the world and he deserves that mantle because of his resume and what he's done in the game. And I agree with him. He definitely is right now the pound for pound best on the planet. He definitely is the best fighter. The guy looks unbeatable. The guy, the guy... There's very few fighters that I can say that look that are have that unbeatable factor about them. Floyd was one of them, and Canelo now has kind of taken that spot in the sense that he looks unbeatable. He looks unbeatable. Even Andre Ward, as good as he was, he didn't like. I always felt that there was a chance that he could get beat, even though he was great. Um, but Canelo kind of is now building that Mayweather aura around him where he seems to be unbeatable. And not just fighting champions in their prime, um, he's starting to seem unbeatable. And um, I, I don't think there's anyone out there that beats him. I even think if he moves to light heavyweight, I think he'll crush some of the light heavyweights as well because of the fact that that confidence, the mentality, the confidence in his ability, uh, the fact that his boxing IQ is of the very highest order, the experience that he's got, which is a lot more than any other fighter in around 160 and 175. And that's the problem. That's the problem. When you're fighting Canelo Alvarez, it's not just the fact that you're fighting a guy that's very highly skilled. You're fighting a guy that's very experienced. You're fighting a guy that's improving every time I see him fight. You're fighting a guy that's very dedicated to the sport of boxing. You're fighting a you're fighting a workaholic. That's what that's who you're fighting against. You're fighting against a guy that lives in the gym. Like he says, no boxing, no life. And he means that. He doesn't have a life, Canelo Alvarez, outside of boxing. He's gonna take some beating, man. He's gonna take some beating. And Jamal Charlo. I believe has a style that could cause Canelo some issues in the sense that I think the style that's going to beat Canelo is a physical, strong, big puncher, a guy that can walk at Canelo, guy that can make Canelo work three minutes of the round. I'm not sure Jamal Charlo can. He may be able to. I don't know whether he's strong enough, to be honest, because he's a guy that's come from the lower weight classes as well. I just think Canelo, I just think Canelo's a lot more skilled, a lot more experienced. He's, he's you know... He, I just feel he's too much for this guy. I think the only way Canelo loses is if Canelo goes like, does what Loma does and went to a weight class where he's just too small and he fights a guy that's very skilled, you hungry guy, that's just too big. Some people think Baterbiev's that guy. I don't. I don't. Lomachenko never had that unbeatable factor around him. He'd already been beat in the second fight. And although he was looking great, there was vulnerability there, especially when we saw him against Linares, against Campbell. He started looking more human when he fought those guys. He was dropped against uh, um, Linares. You know, Campbell felt like hurt him a couple of times, although he won the fight comfortably. Uh, you know, I feel like Canelo, there's like a... Um, uh, there's um, he looks unbeatable right now. There's an invincibility around Canelo right now. And I know a lot of people think that he struggles against boxers, but as we saw with Billy Joe... That Canelo has improved that game, part of his game massively. The way Canelo walks guys down, the, 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 the power that the guy possesses. You know, he's very smart in the ring. He's his boxing IQs of the very highest level. Yeah, man, this is gonna this guy's gonna take some beating. He's some he's some fighter. He's some champion. And I don't see him getting beat anytime soon that quickly. I don't, and I'm just being honest. I a lot of people think that I'm I'm fanboying or Canelo. No, I'm not. I'm just I'm just saying it how it is. 
Charlo's a great... Charlo, for me, is a very good fighter. Char, I won't call, go as far as calling him a great fighter, but he's definitely a very good fighter. I think he's unproven yet, and we don't know how good Charlo's going to be. We don't know how good Charlo can be. Charlo, For me, Charlo's the better, uh, the harder fight out of him and Andrade. I know a lot of people want to see Canelo fight Andrade, but for me, Charlo's the harder fight... Charlo's the more difficult fight for Canelo. He's, he's. I think he's more durable. I think he's. I think he's the bigger puncher. Um, I, and I think he's physically stronger. So I think that's the tougher fight for someone like Canelo. I don't think Andre's got the style to beat um, Canelo Alvarez. I know a lot of people talk about, you know, oh, their slickness. The problem is Andre doesn't got anything to keep Canelo off, and Canelo's going to keep walking him down and eventually land a huge shot. And as we saw with with Andre and Liam Williams. Liam Williams gave Andre a lot of trouble, you know. So if Liam Williams is giving Andre a lot of trouble, then Canelo Alvarez is going to give him a lot, a lot of trouble, you know. And I just feel, I just feel like Canelo would stop Andre just the way he did to Billy Joe. I feel if he would stop him, I believe he would stop him and, and knock him out, uh, because I just don't think Andre is going to be able to take that pressure from Canelo, that power from Canelo. It's there's two. Th th there's too many things you have to overcome against Canelo. He's, he's he's not just... Here's what people think. People think he's just like a puncher. He's not. He's not just a puncher. He's a very good boxer. He's hard to hit. He hits like a like a truck. He he's just he's just the best in the world right now. His boxing IQ, his experience, he be, be he surpasses these guys with every aspect. There there's no aspect that for me Charlo has better than and Canelo. Or Andrade, for that matter. Like I feel, I feel that Canelo's got a better, if not better, chin. I feel that Canelo punches harder than Charlo. I I, I feel like Canelo's boxing ability is better than Charlo. Um, I feel that I feel Canelo. He can go toe to toe. He can box better than Charlo. Like there's any like for me going coming on the front foot to Canelo, right, and trying to walk Canelo down and trying to go toe to toe with him. You've got to have a solid, solid chin to be able to do that, right? Right, and that's not probably if you're fighting Canelo Alvarez, that's probably not the wisest thing to do. But again, I think that's the style that's potentially going to beat him. That's why a lot of people think Baterbiev could beat him because they just think Baterbiev will be the bigger, stronger guy that could walk Canelo down and 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 hit Canelo with shots that could hurt him. I disagree because I think. Baterbiev will get countered a lot. I think Canelo will make Baterbiev miss and then make him pay with some big shots. But those are the fights that people want to see Canelo win now because they don't think these guys at 160 or 168 can beat him because he just looks that invincible. And I don't disagree with it, with those people because Canelo right now is looking like a beast. However, I, I would like the Charlo fight just because I think the Charlo fight, there'd be a lot of hype around it. I think Charlo's a bigger name than Andre. I actually think Charlo's a tougher fight than Andre. And I think it would it would look good on Canelo's resume to get Charlo's name on there. You know, and I, I actually think Charlo's name is growing in the sport of boxing. Don't get me wrong, he's far from being a, a household name or a big star like that, but I do think his name is growing gradually and I, and I and I think the demand for Canelo and, and Charlo is starting to grow especially from what I've seen online from what's maybe Charlo fans but there is slowly there's demand starting to build for that and if Charlo can have another impressive win then I think that the fight the demand for the fight would only increase uh, I would love to see Charlo v Andrade uh, but that again would be a risky fight for uh, Charlo because Charlo as we know with Korobov I thought he lost against Korobov that was a close fight well, not so much lost. I think it was a very close fight. Maybe you could have given it one round to Charlo. Maybe you could have given one round to Korobov. But you, I think Charlo does struggle against boxers. And that, again, is a reason why it'd be hard to pick him against Canelo. Because I think Canelo's a better boxer. And the fact that I think <sighs> Charlo, for me, isn't a slick fighter where he's going to go in there looking to box and move. He's going to go in there and look to land his big explosive shots. And Canelo has shown that he's got a granite chin. He's shown that, you know, it's difficult to budge this guy. So it's going to be difficult for Charlo to put a dent in Canelo because nobody seemed to be seemed to be able to do it as of right now. And he's fought Golovkin. He's fought some really hard, hard guys, and nobody has really seemed to put a dent in him. But in terms of this fight, I think it's I think it would be a big fight. Uh, I think it, I think it would be a fight that would be well received. 
Uh, I think it would be a lot, a lot better received than the Charlo fight. I mean, so the Andrade fight, sorry, because I just think Andrade hasn't, I think Andrade's not as big a name as Charlo. And I think people view Charlo probably as a bit more credible than Andrade, especially I think the last fight that Andrade had, and not to say a lot of people say, well, why, you know, why Andrade deserves a fight? He's a champion. And no one's saying that Andrade doesn't deserve to fight Canelo. I just think the demand for the fight isn't as big. And I think that's why Canelo dismissed him when he was being asked about him because he probably thinks that a Charlo fight would do... Look, he said yes to Charlo, didn't he? He said, I'd fight Charlo in a heartbeat. He did say that. So I think he'd fight Charlo, no problem. But I just think that I just think that the Android fight for him, I, I don't think it, it excites him that much. And um, to be honest with you, I don't really see Android being any different to Billy Joe. Like, I don't really see... Android's a little bit more explosive. Might Some people may argue he's a little better. I, I, I don't know. I don't think there's a lot in it, to be honest with you. And I think that style can... And he's not a bigger... He's not a big puncher. He's not a punch. And even if you do think he's a bigger puncher than Billy Joe, he's not big enough to hurt Canelo, in my opinion. So I, I think styles make fights. And I think Canelo's style is all wrong for, for Andre. And I know some people may say Andre's style is wrong. I don't... Not anymore. Maybe six, seven years ago. Not anymore. Canelo's developed massively. I think Canelo punches too hard. And as we saw Lee, with Liam Williams, you know, Andre is there to be hit. You know, I know he, people go on like he's elusive. Yeah, but elusive against two. He's never been elusive against any of the top guys. He's never fought any of the real top guys. Andre's resume is probably the weakest. You know, so at the end of the day, I, I personally do think that Canelo Alvarez would walk through Andre. And I think Canelo's too big, too strong. He punches too hard. And I'm not sure that the Andre fight would be something that a lot of people would be as interested in as a Charlo because I, I actually think there's people out there that think Charlo can win and they may be his own fans. But at the end of the day, I think Charlo has a lot more, uh, his style is a lot more like a style that I think would give, could give Canelo problems. Not to say that, that he wins, but I think the style of, of Charlo could give Canelo a few problems. I would still pick Canelo as a huge favourite, but I like to see that fight. Now, would I like to see that fight in September? It's not going to happen in September because Canelo's already said he wants to be undisputed. So there's no way that the Charlo's going to get that fight. Charlo is not going to get the fight with Canelo because Canelo wants to be undisputed. So when Canelo becomes undisputed, then I think Charlo, especially if he has another one, one or maybe two good wins, I definitely think there's going to be a huge, huge demand for Charlo v Canelo. Uh, especially if Charlo can become a unified champion and, and beat someone like uh, Andrade, I actually think that that would the demand for the fight would go through the roof. Or maybe Charlo could fight Golovkin. Maybe they should look to make that fight. That's a big fight. I'd love to see that fight as well. So yeah, there's some big fights out there for Charlo. Um, I don't think he's gonna get Canelo next, but I do. I definitely want to see that fight. I definitely want to see that fight. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Um, and guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.